everyone. My name is Arya Bijayan. I am from Government College, Kota in Kerala. I secured All India Rank 3 in JAM Geology 2021. I would like to thank my parents, faculties of my college and GSS Academy for this success. The online courses and test series from GSS Academy helped me to understand the exam pattern and clearing the concept. The faculties are also very nice. They solved all my queries during my preparation. GSS class note and assignment book helped me to solve 70 to 80% question in JAM exam. So, I would like to share my preparation strategy for JAM Geology in this video. I started my preparation from July. I went through the syllabus for JAM and previous year question patterns. I found out that the syllabus required for JAM was little different from one I followed in my degree course. I had to learn a few extra topics for JAM exam that I didn't learn in my degree course. So, for that I had to prepare a different study plan. For example, I have to focus more on hydrogeology, radioactivity, engineering geology, isostasy and so on. For that, I use the notes and videos from GSS Academy. My academy would upload video lecture every day. I used to watch them and make short notes alongside. At the end of each topic, they would upload an online test. So by the time they covered a subject, I also would have an overall idea on the topic. I followed their schedule and finished engineering geology, isostasy and radioactivity, earth and solar system, hydrogeology, mineralogy and sedimentology by September, followed by a midterm examination. After that, I studied major topics such as paleontology, metamorphic petrology, ore geology, igneous petrology, uh, structural geology, and stratigraphy, uh, followed by another midterm examination by December. There are a lot of things to memorize in geology, especially in pa paleontology and stratigraphy. And at first, I struggled a lot. And then I studied together with my friends who we are also preparing for JAM. We made quotes and jokes about these topics and studied together. That made it a lot easier for me to remember. I also read the prescribed text during this time. I will list out the name of the book and the author later in this video. Due to the time limitation, I didn't read the entire book. I only read what I thought was important for the JAM exam. I also had not provided by GSS Academy, which was very, very helpful. By December, I had gone through almost every topic at least once. In January, I didn't try to learn anything new. I spent most of my time revising the subjects and I also attended several online mock tests which helped me to develop better time management skills. In February, we had two weeks until JAM exam. So the first week, I went through the main point of every subject and second week, I only did previous year JAM question paper repeatedly to build confidence. As for strategy, I was continuously solving previous year question paper for JAM and GATE over and over again and that built my confidence. Whenever I got stuck with a problem, I discussed it with my friends or revision girls are from GSS and solved it. They helped me a lot. Always try to have a study partner. It is the easiest way to build knowledge while studying. And for numerical, I separately listed out all the important equations and their unit so that it is easier for me to memorize. Units are very important. Make sure that you have a strong base in basic unit conversions. It also helps if you have basic idea on chemistry, physics and max uh, like Mohl's concept, uh, log, etc. Now, uh, uh, I, will, I, will, I will now list out the books that I followed for my preparation. Uh, for mineralogy, I followed William Dinesse. For sedimentology, I followed Sen Gupta and Sandbox. For igneous and metamorphic petrology, I followed John D. Winter. For structural geology, I followed M.P. Billings. For geomorphology, I followed Savitar Singh and G.B. Mahabhatra. For stratigraphy, I followed Ravindra Kumar. For paleontology, I followed uh, Amel Das Gupta. And for ore geology, I refer Umeshwar Prasad. Uh, and for groundwater hydrology, I followed David K. Todd. Apart from that, I did Aja Hussain, uh, Jambreaker, and R. Bobche. 
I refer to the university notes for optical mineralogy and principles of engineering geology by K. M. Banga for last minute revision. Mock tests are really important because they give you an idea about actual exam and you will learn how to manage time better. But you might not always get the best score in these mocks. Sometimes they may be low, but don't let it ruin your confidence. What matters is how you perform during the actual test. So it will be good. So believe in your effort. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Get enough sleep and stay hydrated. So good luck and thank you.